From the Colombian women's cycling team's unimpressive uniform to the Nike shoe malfunction that cost a runner one of the most prestigious world records, here are some of the most embarrassing track and field wardrobe malfunctions. Of course, it's only right to start off by talking about the Colombian women's cycling team. This incident may have happened in 2014, but you can bet it's never really going to stop making rounds on the internet. The girls may have slayed out on the field, but the flesh-colored outfits they were wearing were absolutely horrendous. The uniform was pretty average. Same for the strip of flesh-colored fabric across the lower torso and upper legs. It made it seem like the women were literally naked, and it wasn't flattering at all. That's why, rather than focusing on the girls' performance on the track, the internet was losing it over one of the biggest design fails the sporting world has ever seen. The poor women were all set to make a name for themselves at the race, which, incidentally, was being held in honor of a former Italian champion, Michaela Fanini, who unfortunately died in a car crash in 1994. Little did these women know that they would be going viral for all the wrong reasons. Of course, social media didn't let go of the opportunity to absolutely rip the girls to shreds, with users going as far as to say that the uniforms were surely a horrible prank. Ouch. Another Twitter user added, I'm no fashion expert. But even I know that the Columbia women's cycling team kit seen here is a genuine disaster. Yikes! But I guess other athletes have it worse. After all, the girls only looked like they were naked. But there are plenty of incidents where athletes have actually exposed themselves. Yep, I'm talking about your Nea Ritzel. The camel toe curse hit the poor girl while she was competing at a pole vault event. The Slovenian athlete had no idea that she was exposing herself as she continued her routine. To make matters worse, the whole thing was being aired on live television. Gosh, this is the stuff nightmares are made of. And it seems like the culprit behind the whole incident was a pair of very tight-fitting sports knickers. But Yernea, being the professional girl boss she is, didn't let the accident phase her. She continued to make her way around the track, even though her camel toe was exposed. Seriously, when she was lining up to take the run up to the high bar, her privates were barely covered. Which of course led to her getting some pretty sleazy comments from certain netizens. One viewer commented, I never knew I liked pole vault so much. We'll have to tune in more often. Yikes. Nevertheless, it didn't stop Ritzel from absolutely smashing it on the field. She made the jump with relative ease as the crowd cheered her on. Her moment of glory was short-lived, however, as she soon realized why everyone had been gawking at her. The poor girl uncomfortably attempted to pull her knickers down as the cameras followed her every move. As if wedgies weren't bad enough already. To make matters worse, a clip of the entire incident has been viewed more than 9 million times on YouTube. But before you start feeling too sorry for her, trust me when I say others have had it a lot worse. Look at Christian Blumenfeld, for instance. The poor Norwegian got famous for all the wrong reasons after he won the men's Olympic triathlon in Tokyo. I mean, just imagine. You train hard all your life, manage to qualify for the Olympics, and actually end up winning. But all anyone can talk about is your junk. Yep, that's right. The poor guy had his moment of glory stolen away by his own privates. And again, it all went down to the outfit he was wearing. It was practically translucent in the crotch area. Turns out the outfit was designed especially to beat the muggy Tokyo heat. The designers had supposedly done everything to ensure that Blumenfeld was as comfortable as possible. But I guess they forgot about the most important thing, clothing that actually covers the body. The outfit had many people raising their eyebrows, and it wasn't long before Blumenfeld was going viral for all the wrong reasons. One Twitter user wrote, If I were going to compete in the triathlon at the Olympics, I'd be real mad if my country made me do it in a see-through outfit, and everyone could see my underwear. I'm into that. The Norwegian champ was seemingly unaware of the whole fiasco, though, as he came in first place, crossing the finish line in a time of 1 hour and 45 minutes. Jack Yee, who secured the silver medal, was just 11 seconds behind. So it's great that Blumenfeld wasn't distracted by the wardrobe malfunction. And I know I keep saying this, but trust me, things have gotten a lot crazier. Yep, I'm looking at Josef Urban. The poor guy was just running a marathon when the worst wardrobe malfunction you could possibly imagine was caught on live TV. Trust me, late race lactic was the least of Urban's worries, as the cameras got a good view of his visible private parts. That's right. And once again, it all came down to those pesky clothes. 
It was his shorts that failed him, as they split while he was running the final stretch of the Casso Peace Marathon. Instead of stopping to cover himself, he sprinted the last leg of the race with his privates fully exposed. It looks like the fans weren't complaining, however, as they cheered him on. Seriously, why are all these people so excited about uncalled for nudity? Anyway, Urban didn't let the incident phase him. He finished the marathon in 10th place and actually achieved a personal record in the process. Well, at least something good came out of the race. Urban took off 27 seconds from his previous record, so I guess it's fine he got a little embarrassed doing it. And again, it's uncertain whether Urban knew he was exposing himself. If he did, he was pretty much unaffected by it. Just look at the way he high-fived a fan while he neared the end of the marathon. He continued past other runners and race officials without a care in the world. I guess having your privates out is one way to distract your competitors, whether he knew it or not. Good on him for getting that personal record. After all, not everyone can keep going when things take a turn for the worse. Just look at Alberto Nonino, for example. The poor athlete dropped to last place when he accidentally exposed his privates in the middle of a race. And oh, did I mention he was in first place before the chaos unfolded? Sad. Needless to say, the young 18-year-old was pretty furious. After all, who could ever imagine that their dreams would be crushed by their own <laughs> Apparently, the young Italian's privates fell out of his shorts as he competed in the Under-20 World Championships. And that too on the first day of the tournament. I can't even imagine how he faced all those people again. The poor guy tried his best to keep running through. And at first, fans were confused when they saw him reaching for his crotch, rather than swinging his arms as he ran. It wasn't long before everyone realized that he was repeatedly trying to cover himself. The poor guy finished the 400-meter race last, with a time of 51 seconds. Since then, Nonina has taken to Instagram to talk about the unfortunate incident. He emphasized that the flashing was purely accidental, and begged people to stop sending him links to the video. I don't know whether to laugh or feel bad for the poor kid, but it seems like he's taking it like a sport. Nonino admitted that he felt horrible when the whole incident happened, but he's able to laugh it off now, thanks to the support of his family and friends. And this isn't the only time a wardrobe malfunction has cost an athlete victory. Remember what happened to poor old Elude Kipchoge? The Kenyan marathon runner would have gotten the world record in Berlin if it weren't for his Nikes failing him. I'm sure he regretted celebrating the day Nike reached out to him for a sponsorship. Kipchoge won the Berlin Marathon in 2 hours and 4 minutes, falling just a minute short of the world record, and it seemed like the shoes were to blame for it. Kipchoge spent most of the second half of the race fixing his insoles as they kept slipping out of his shoes. In fact, the problem started to appear right from the very beginning of the race, which really came as a surprise because apparently Kipchoge tested the pairs of Nikes in Kenya, and they were pretty great then. Regardless, the guy took it pretty well. Instead of blaming the sporting giant, he shrugged off the loss, saying that it just wasn't meant to be. And there you have it. From the Nike shoe malfunction that cost Kipchoge one of the most prestigious world records, to the Colombian women's cycling team's awkward uniform. Here were some of the most embarrassing track and field wardrobe malfunctions.